Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Praise the Lord, brother. Brother, praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning to everyone, my dear brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be rejoice in this day. Before we are going to what of God, let us be pray and ask God, Lord, to talk with us in this morning. Let us be pray. Gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we are coming to your presence. Lord, be with us, guide us, and lead us, and talk with us, O oh Lord. You are the mighty God, O oh Lord. Lord, open our spiritual eyes to understand your words. Lord, those who are watching this live broadcast, bless them, guide them. Lord, whatever they are facing the situations, you know everything, O oh Lord. Help them, O oh Lord. Lord, you are the mighty God. Nothing impossible to you you O lord lord we are coming to your presence and this time we are going to meditate your words O lord lord talk with us asking in jesus name amen hallelujah my dear brothers and sisters let us be see the word of god in this morning uh, my topic my topic is that jesus and lift us when we, when we are struggling, when we are facing the problems, that Jesus will help us. Jesus will raise us. Whatever we are facing the situations, but Jesus never forget us and he never leave us. My dear brothers and sisters, let us receive that word. When we fall down, then God will, God raise his hand and he will lift up us. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, the Mark, Mark chapter 9 verse 27, when we will read, the word is saying, let us we read that word, but Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet and he stood up. My dear brothers and sisters, the, the Jesus, Jesus, he raised his hand and lifted him to his feet and he, he stood up. See, this, this guy, the Satan is attacking him. Satan so many times the the, the, when we will read that word, 21, uh, that uh, child, he fired. Why is fall means the Satan is attacking him. So many times, Satan is thrown him into the water, he, the Satan has thrown him into the fire so many times. My dear brothers and sisters, why, why means Satan, he want to fall down, he, he thrown in the fire. Today, same situation we are facing in this world. So many times Satan, he want to throw in the fire. Fire means so many problems, so many obstacles. The, the so many obstacles, the Satan is throwing, in, throwing us in the obstacles, in the problems. But uh, uh, and, uh, the, the Satan is throwing in the water. Who will fall down in the water? They will go in the deep water after he will die. The, the second is uh, pushing in the water. 
the Satan is pushing him in the water because he want to die. The, the Satan, he have the plan to kill him. The Satan, he want to, the Satan want to kill him. That's why so many times the Satan thrown him in the water, in the, in, in the fire. My dear brothers and sisters, today in our life also, so many times Satan, Satan he want to kill us. He want to throw in the water. He want to throw in the fire. So many times we are, we are struggling because the Satan, he want to kill us. Satan, he want to attack us. So Satan, he want to uh, give problems in our life. My dear brothers and sisters, who will believe the Jesus Christ, who will depend upon the Lord, our God, Jesus Christ, the God will, he will raise his hand and he will take us up. He never leave, he never forsake us. His hand will raise us. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, in this morning, God is talking with you, you and me, who what we are facing today, the God is talking with us. He want to raise his hand and he will, he will lift us up. The Satan, whatever the, uh, the Satan is doing, whatever Satan, he, he want to, uh, planning to kill us. But Jesus is with us. He never leave and he never forsake us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, today you are maybe to, you are facing the the financially. Maybe today you are facing physically. Today you are facing spiritually. Whatever you are facing, but God is with us. He, he never forsake us. He never leave us. The Satan is planning to kill us. See when we read that word twenty one. To, let us read that word. Jesus asked the boy, the father, how long has he been like this? From childhood, he answered, it, it, it has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take Bit on us and help us if you can, said Jesus. Everything is possible for one who believes. See, my dear brothers and sisters, that Jesus has said today, in this morning, whatever you are facing in your life, whatever you are struggling in your life, the whatever the Satan is planning to kill you, whatever the Satan is. He want to throw, throw you. Uh, he want to throw you in the fire. But God is saying, the God is talking with the, His Father. If you believe, everything is possible for one who believes. If we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, our God Jesus Christ will lift us. He, he will lift me up. He will raise me up, whatever I am struggling, whatever the fire want to kill us. Fire means problems, so many problems, so many obstacles. The water, the, the water means the water, uh, when we will fall down in the water, the water want to take in a deep and uh, the water will kill us. The, the breathing problem will come. When we will uh, went in the water, when we fell, uh, fell down in the water, we can't take breath. The breath will stop. My dear brothers and sisters, today your situation, your situation like a, who are um, in the water, who are in the water, there is no breathing. Same situation you are facing maybe. But God is talking with you today. God, God is talking. And if you are facing the, how the fire will, uh, we, we, were, uh, uh, we, uh, we are facing the problems in the fire. 
like a fire. But God is talking today. So the, the 23 verse is saying, Mark chapter 9, verse 23, is saying, if you can, the, the father is asked, if you can, Jesus, Jesus said, Jesus said, everything is possible. Everything is possible for one who believes. One who believes if in this morning, in this evening, if you believe that everything is possible in the name of Jesus, everything is possible, whatever you are, the face, you are facing. But Jesus is talking us, everything is possible in his name. My dear brothers and sisters, today, God wants to raise us. God wants to lift up us. God want to who who are fell down who are uh, who are fell down. God want to raise them up, my dear brothers and sisters. See the the people. So many people has came the, that place. So many people has came, and they saw they are following the Jesus Christ. See, uh, the, the, uh, let us read that word also. Uh, 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 26, 26 words, let us read. That after trying out a conversation, him terribly, it came out uh, on the boy uh, like a pops. So that most of them said he is dead. See, my dear brothers and sisters, the, the most of the people what they are thinking he died. Today, so many people they are thinking maybe when you were fell down with financially, physically, mentally, you can't walk. Means you are taking more struggles in, in your life. The people, the neighbors, the, the only people think he can't race now. He died. He can't, he can't race because so many problems he, he is facing. She is facing. He, she can't uh, come out. She can't come out on that problems. Now she will die. See, this boy situation also same situation is facing. The sergeant, he, he uh, the sergeant has attacked that boy. The, the sergeant is throwing in the water. The sergeant is throwing in the fire. Same situation when we are following the Jesus Christ, the sergeant he want to throw in, in the water or else he want to throw in the fire. It means so many problems we will face, but Jesus never forget us. If we believe, he never forget us. If, if we believe, everything is possible. If we believe, Jesus will raise us. Hallelujah. These people, they thought he never raised. Now he died. He died. He can't raise now. He, he can't raise up. My dear brothers and sisters, but Jesus, see, the 27 word, when we will read, but Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet and he stood up. When Jesus has lifted him up, he stood up. No one will raise us up, but Jesus will raise up us. If we believe him, if we follow his word, God will raise us up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, who will fall down in the, uh, uh, in, who will fall down the Jesus hand will raise us up. Let us, we see second, uh, second word also. <clears throat> he will raise 
from the bed. He will raise us from the bed. Let us see the Mark chapter, Mark chapter 1, verse 31. Mark chapter 1, verse 31. And he came and took her ah. by the hand, by the hand uh, lifted her up, and, and the fever uh, left to her. Uh, she began to serve them. When we will see the 30 words also, the, the Simon's mother in law, she, she in the bed with the fever. The Peter mother-in-law, she is suffering with fever. See, my dear brothers and sisters, she, she is in the bed. She was in the bed with the fever. She is suffering. She is suffering. Who are in the bed? Who are in the who are who are suffering? Maybe corona, maybe any disease. But Jesus' hand will raise us up. This morning, the, in this evening, the God is talking with us. Who will believe him? Who will, well, who will believe him? God will raise them up. Maybe today you are suffering uh, 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 physically. Physically, you are suffering. Physically, you, you got the fever. Physically, maybe you are, you are suffering uh, diabetic. You, maybe you are suffering heart, heart attack. You, maybe you are suffering many diseases. But God is talking. Who will believe him? His hand will raise from the bed. The Jesus will raise, raise her are him from the bed. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus never forget. Je Jesus never leave, but he will raise us up. If we believe today in this morning, you will raise from the bed. Hallelujah. Whatever the disease are you are facing, whatever the problems you are facing, whatever you, you have, uh, you have the problems, but Jesus is talking he want to raise you in this morning. Hallelujah. He want to raise you. He want to raise up. He want to, he, he, he want to take you uh, from the bed. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is a mighty God. He is loving us. He is, he is loving us. We, we are his children. We are his children, his loving. He, he, he don't want to see about uh, when we are struggling. He don't want to see when we are in the bed, but he want to raise us from the bed. My dear brothers and sisters, how you are suffering to, today? What disease are attacking you? How you are suffering on the bed? The bed means the bed, it will take us many problems. The bed, when, when, when we are in the bedridden, so many people and our relatives, our friends will think he is in the bedridden. She is in the bedridden. She can't wake up now. She, she will die. She is taking the medicine. She she is suffering. Our, our friends and our families, uh, everyone will think like that. But Jesus is loving us. He don't want to see us in, in the bed. When we are suffering, the God is raising her from when, when, when she is uh, suffering from fever. She was in the bed with the fever. But when Jesus, let us read that word, see. Uh, so he went to her, took her hand and lifted her up. See, 
when she is suffering with the fever, he went and he took her hand and lifted her up from the bed. Today, in this morning, whatever you were facing physically, God want to raise you up. If you believe, if you believe him, if you trust him, God want to raise you up in this morning. Whatever this is you are facing, whatever the problems uh, uh, is in your body, but Jesus, he want to raise you up. Hallelujah. He never leave you. He never leave you. When you are struggling, Jesus also struggled with you because he is loving us. He given his life for us. He is our father. He, he is our creator. He never leave us. He never forsake us. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus will raise us from the dead. Jesus will raise us from the dead. Jesus, uh, when we will see Mark chapter, words, uh, chapter, Mark chapter 5, verse uh, 31, uh, 41, sorry, 41, let us read that word also. Take her by the hand, he said, to her, Tabutha Kumi, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. See, my dear brothers and sisters, this, her, that, uh, that small child, she, she is in the bed. Her mother and father is crying. My lovely daughter, she is in the bed. She is suffering. She is crying. So many parents are coming and watching. And what is going on in here? They're, they're uh, facing so many things in, in his family. In his family, there is no peace. There is no happiness. Because her, her lovely, uh, her lovely uh, daughter, she is in the bed. Her mother, her, her father is crying when they're watching her, when they're seeing her. Oh, my lovely daughter, she's suffering. She will die now. Who will help us? In my family, there is no peace. They are crying. My dear brothers and sisters, our, our, uh, our fathers, mothers will cry when we will in the bed. Where is the problem? Where is the people are getting problem? There is the Jesus to give the answer. There is Jesus want to give the peace. That's why Jesus has said, come to me, I will give my peace to you. Saying, I want to give my peace to you. In, in his family, uh, 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 her, her family, her, her mother and her father is suffering. There is no peace in their family. But Jesus has went. Where is the problem? Where the she is suffering? See, when we will read that word, the 40, 40, verse 40 is saying, And they laughed at him. Ah. But uh, he put them all outside. Mm. He took his father mm. and mother mm. and those who were with him and, and went in where the child was. Ah. Taking her by the hand, he said to her, said to her, uh, uh, I'll say to you, and I see my dear brothers and sisters, he went, he went where the child has, where the ch ch child, 
He enter in the room. Where is the problem? My dear brothers and sisters, today, Jesus, he want to come to your house. He want to come on you. He, when we will see the, the um, Revelation chapter, Revelation chapter, Three, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, when we will read that word, Behold, I stand at the door, I, I, I knock, if anyone hear my voice, and open the door, I will come in into him, I eat with him, uh, and he with me. See, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus still is knocking the door. Where is the problem? Where is the problem? You are the, facing the problem. He wants to take you from the problems out. He wants to raise you. He, that's why he, Jesus is knocking your door. If, if you open the door for him, he will enter in the room. He will enter into your heart. When our, our in, in, in our family, when we will struggle, our heart will uh, struggle. Our heart will struggle. Where, where is the struggle? Jesus will enter in, in that heart. The, uh, when our heart will struggle, he will knock the door to enter to solve our problems. See, these people, they thought, they thought she died. Uh, 39 words, when we will see. He, he went in, in and said to them, why all this? Uh, uh, why are you making a commotion and weeping. Uh, the child is not dead but sleeping. See my dear brothers and sisters that family, that uh, all the relations, all the friends all as came and they are weeping. But Jesus giving the hope. Jesus giving the peace. Who are crying Jesus is saying, why you are weeping? Why you are weeping? She's not dying. Jesus, when he entered where the, that girl is there, he entered in that room and he's saying, she's sleeping. My dear brothers and sisters, today still God is knocking your door. When your heart is struggling, when you were uh, heart is struggling. God is knocking your heart of the door to open. When you will open, he will swallow your problems. When you will open, whatever the you are weeping, whatever you are struggling, God will swallow and he will give the peace and joy in your life. Praise God. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is a loving God. But first of all, we want to believe him. First of all, we want to trust him. When we will trust him, God will solve our problems. When we will trust him, whatever the situations are we are facing, God will raise his hand and lift up us from the problems. Hallelujah. Lord, let us come and ask God, Lord, I am suffering. Lord, I am suffering today. Lord, raise your hand and lift me up. Lord, I am believing everything possible in your name. Yes, Lord, you said that word. Yes, Lord, you said that uh, uh, word. Who will believe? See, everything is possible for one who believes. Everything is possible. Yes, Lord. Everything possible in your name. Lord, I am believing you will do miracles in my life. If you believe, 
God will do the miracles and wonders in your life. Let us be calm and ask God, Lord, I am suffering today. Lord, I am suffering so many problems. I am facing so many problems, oh Lord. Lord, lift up me. Lord, lift up my problems. Lord, I, am, I, I don't have the peace in my heart. Lord, come to my heart and give the peace in my heart. Lord, I'm crying and crying a lot. I'm weeping because of problems, because I am in the fire, because I am in the water. Lord, I can't take the breath because of these problems. Lord, take me up from these problems. He will raise his hand and lift us up. Let us be prayer and ask God, whatever you are from, uh, facing the problems, ask God and uh, let us be where you, where you are, where you are. Just bow down in his presence. Ask God. Just ask God. Knock the, uh, uh, trust him. God is knocking your door. Open, open for him. He will give the peace and joy in your life. Let us be asked. Let us be asked. Don't waste the time. You, 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 maybe you are thinking, my friends will come, he will help. Maybe my parents will help. They, whatever I am facing. But no one will help. But Jesus is with you. Jesus, he want to lift up you from your problems. Let us pray. Ask God. Lord, we are coming to your presence, O oh Lord, in this morning. Thank you, Lord, you are the mighty God. Yes, Lord, we are facing so many problems. So many obstacles are coming in my life. Lord, raise your hand, lift me up. All the problems, O oh Lord. You are the mighty God, O oh Lord. Everything possible in your name, O oh Lord. I, yes, Lord, I am believing you are the mighty God, O oh Lord. Where you are, there is peace and joy. Yes, Lord. In that family, the child, the small girl, all the people, people thought, they thought she died. They are weeping, oh Lord. But when you were entering in the room, the peace and joy has came. Yes, Lord. Come to my family. Come to my house. Come enter into my room, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Where you are, there is no weeping. There is no crying alone. But joy will come. Where you are, Lord, there is joy. Where you are, there is peace, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Raise your hand and lift me up, oh Lord. From my all the problems. Lord, those who are watching this live broadcast, Lord, what they are facing today, raise them up, O oh Lord, from their problems. Lord, who are suffering with the physically, what, whatever they have, they have the diseases, Lord, raise your hand and lift them up, O oh Lord, from their, how they are believing you. Lord, do miracles and wonders in this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are submitting ourselves to your hands. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Asking in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord to everyone. Thank you.